All right, for number four, for number four, pretty straightforward, I believe, because uh, there's only one thing that will need your attention. That's the denominator of the fraction on the right-hand side. It's clearly x plus five and x minus five. So when you multiply both sides, then uh, the common denominator would be x plus five and x minus five. Okay. And uh, and then on the left, it is simply x plus five. On the right, it's simply x. And then you subtract x on both sides. We have five equal to zero. Oh, by the way, I forgot to write down the restrictions. Uh, x cannot be a uh, five, x cannot be negative five. Okay, my bad. Now, we have this five equal to zero. Okay, now, don't panic. Don't freak out. What does this mean? Well, we know this is false. All right, this is a false statement. Uh, it's undeniably false. And that means, that means it doesn't matter what x value is since you don't see x anymore and it happens to be, it resulted in a false statement. That means there is no solution, okay? No x value would ever make this statement true because five is equal to zero, it is inherently false. So it doesn't matter what you do, it is going to be false, okay? So that's the uh, the key right here.